What about the body connection? You, you mentioned it, when I first asked you about what was so wonderful about the brain, you say, well, it's this organ that can think about itself, and it's not just a filter, it's not just a pump. How does the rest of our body, these much more simple organs, how does it affect the brain? How, how does the health of our body actually affect how our brain works? Oh, in so many ways. All right, so let me give a couple fun examples. Um, all right, so stress. Love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there's this, there's this feedback loop with stress. So when you perceive um, some kind of threat or stress, the hypothalamus releases a neurotransmitter onto your pituitary, which then releases a hormone that goes in your blood and acts on your adrenal glands, on your kidneys. And then you, re you release cortisol, which is the stress hormone that then increases your heart rate and gets you ready for that fight or flight feeling. And then that very same hormone goes, loops back to your brain, acts on receptors in the hypothalamus and says, shut, shut the whole thing off, stop. So it's a nice negative feedback loop. It's intended for acute crises, like, you act immediately and then it's done. The problem with our culture is, you know, so we're, it's not like we're being chased by lions anymore. Like, it's not that kind of stress. It's largely anxiety and emotional stress and like worrying about what's going to happen. And I can't believe he just said that to me. And like that. And, and it's chronic. And what happens with chronic stress in your body is that cortisol, the receptors in your hypothalamus start to not care about all this cortisol anymore. And they don't it doesn't, sh it, they become desensitized and maybe they get down regulated, but you don't get the, the shut off valve breaks. And so now you're just constantly dumping um, cortisol into your blood. Your adrenal glands just keep pumping it out. And you, that really puts, um, that, that's bad for your body in lots of ways, your immune system, it can cause depression. And in your brain, it's bad for your memory. So if you're chronically stressed, you may be find, finding that you're not, your memory is not going so well. Um, the, the chronic release of cortisol will also act on receptors in your hippocampus and make it really difficult for your um, short-term memories to, to kick into long-term memory. My goodness. Yeah.